hello everyone welcome back so today i was thinking to make a video about something that i know for sure there's quite a few out there that have been waiting for and as you can see from the title it's about cleaning oneself um, and i'm going to share with you one of my main exercises that i do to clean myself obviously um that is very efficient uh and useful for these times basically um, it's not the only thing that I do, but I'm going to give you a little bit of context to understand how these things has progressed and why I'm using it in such a customized way uh, now because of the transformation shifts or source showing me these things, how to do it better and more efficient and uh, yeah. So um, I'm going to actually start with other things that actually have how should I say, uh, introduced basically the next step and the next step uh, in my evolution and my transformation process. So I was saying in other videos that um, I started, first of all, being vegetarian when I was like 14. Then later in life, I became vegan, uh, well, raw vegan. And then in 2015, I've done the Bruderian process. But, and many other things, uh, which I will not list here because I feel it's, at this point, it's a little bit too late, redundant, um, unnecessary right now for, for this video. Uh, but each time I would upgrade, um, I would always feel like I would reach another plateau and I would see that it's like, okay, so this is not enough. So what should I do next? Because obviously I'm not, I haven't got, I, I haven't, I'm not what I'm supposed to, to be, so to speak. Um, of course, I would do progress, I would see progress, but I would always feel that like, mm, okay, we're reaching another level, but this is not freedom. So um, when I was done with, no, I was already raw vegan, yeah, um, 2000, and, it was four years ago, yeah. 2013 or 14, I was um, already experimenting a lot with raw foods, mostly. Uh, and um, at some point, I uh, I discovered tapping, and because um, I was doing my my older techniques, and they were helping in how should I say with the internal architecture um, to rehabilitate certain things. But then you realize, well, there's other things to take care of as well. So I started tapping. Um, I discovered in 2000, and as I said, 13 or 14, uh, tapping. Uh, actually, this was something completely unexpected because I discovered it through another source. Um, but obviously, this made more sense to me than the other source. Uh, this is the book, by the way. I, it's called The Tapping Solution by Nick Ortner. Uh, I suggest you, you get it if you want to understand a little bit more about what tapping is. Um, and actually, it will help you to, to start asking the right question, how to investigate in your own mind, um, because um, in the end, it's all about how you, you question things. Uh, uh, question things. Uh, for me at this point, this is much say basic, uh, but it's still a useful book. It's very good for somebody that actually only starts now uh, with cleaning uh, oneself. Uh, so yes, Nick Ortner, the tapping solution. However, if you feel like mm, I don't, I don't want to spend money on a book <laughs> right now, you could start with. I have a really mm, it's somebody that I worked with online. Um, Brad Yates has a great channel. Uh, he's doing videos about basically every topic. Uh, and he does just tapping sessions. You tap with him uh, as he guides you through this like, um, yeah, tapping session. Uh, and he will um, basically say what you need to say. Uh, to get the this done. Um, however, after a while, at least what I saw for myself uh, was not enough because at some point you understand that you have to go deeper, you have to go more profound inside yourself 
to extract things that um, doing it in a general way, it's, it's not enough. Because as I was saying, the distortion is at work all the time, anytime, and it will use whatever it will find inside yourself whenever it wants and whatever it needs. So that's why I said be mindful and be aware of that. Um, so uh, what I was discovering throughout going back a little bit again, uh, what I was discovering all these years like me upgrading doing this, like doing these exercises, becoming vegetarian, vegan, raw vegan. Um, and then I did the Bruderian process. Ah, and by the way, I think I, I forgot to actually tell you after I've done or during the process, when I was doing the process, I didn't understand why I felt so, so heavy toward the, the last day of the dry mode. And then I understood that this was actually the pain body. It's like the garbage that I, I've collected all these years, all this drama, dramas uh, in my life. We all have those. I can't tell you what you, I mean, all the garbage that you have, you'll have to um, probe inside yourself. Of course, of course I could, <laughs> I can see inside people now, but I'm just saying it's not my business. Um, you have to do the work and nobody else can do that for you. And even if they could and would like to do that for you, that, that is not really beneficial for you. So you have to do it yourself. So you, you will start to claim power over your own body, over your own energetic system. Uh, so um, what, uh, what I realized when I was uh, in the middle of the process, toward the end, uh, at least in the dry phase, was that, oh wow, so I feel, I feel like I was weighing tons. I didn't know what was weighing me so much down. And <laughs> then I realized, I mean, after that, when I was actually starting to, to because actually I was starting to clear all this um, emotional mental garbage before this process actually but then I realized oh my god how much is left <laughs> anyways I, I I'm not the type of person to despair um, easily or at all and uh, so I got to work further so that's why I made the progress that I made today of course I have the cause that I have and as I said we all come with specific uh, coding. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I kept going. Um, I kept cleaning myself. Um, but, sorry, once you understand that after you, you do all these things and to actually advance yourself, to um, enhance your awareness, you're on, a, on your way to freedom, you realize that in the end, especially after you do the Broderian process, that the only thing that you have to work with is your mind. And as I was saying many times, it's not about the small mind. Uh, by the way, uh, what I find, uh, it's another parenthesis, um, what I find wrong today or not really correct um, is this use of the ego as a bad thing. You have to understand that uh, when you're in at this level of ex experience life, of course you will have a very uh, you'll have a defined identity. Uh, whether it's a small identity which it exists here or it has, how should I say, this is how people have existed for a very long time. Um, that does that doesn't mean it, it's a bad thing. It, it means that. That was the energy that was available. Um, this is how much your architecture could process, plus the distortion. There's a lot of factors uh, that dictated what you experience and how you experience things. Uh, as we heal, as we transform, as we all move where we need to move, um, this identity expands, but you won't really lose um, sense of self so to speak as in like this particular identity well you will start to feel different but um you won't lose um this thing that you call i so to speak yes you will feel more things you'll feel more connected you feel a lot of I, I do not want to go into that but what i'm saying is that that really doesn't disappear um rather it you have a bigger awareness and you understand more so those judgments, those the way you would actually um, 
see life and do things in life will change drastically. <laughs> Uh, but you won't lose, um, in the sense, the, the I persona, so to speak. It will just be something else. Close the parenthesis here. Going back to the mind, we only have the mind with, to, to work with. So um, every time you have to go back to that. So after the process, this was the, the, the thing that I was shown uh, as I'm like, Okay, so you have nothing left now but to work with your mind. And as I said, this is the most frustrating thing because it's like you're working with something that's like invisible, <laughs> uh, non tangible, um, not really used. I mean, probably more, well, for me, it was not that bad because uh, as a creative person, I have to work with the mind a lot uh, uh, and produce things out of my mind and put it out there and just make them take form and realize them and, and so on and so forth. Um, however, this was more than just that because this changes everything about you. This is where, how should I say, the process of expanding your awareness starts and also you have to build the energy to, to do that. You can't do one without the other. Um, so as you, you do, as I was doing this, this cleansing, I, I, I was seeing that um, asking only those questions, well, um, following this like particular, I say formula, because you'll see there's a formula about tapping. I'll leave uh, all the links um, that I think are useful down below so you can check them out. Um, so following this like formula, which starts like with this the karate chop is like even though I, I know I hate myself, I'm willing to love and accept myself. And then you have all these points on top of your head, um, eyebrow, um, the side of your eye, under eye, under nose, chin, collarbone under your arm armpit um, but what I discovered that after a while this as I said this is not enough anymore and I had to go deeper and uh, deeper this opened um, and how to do it later when I would understand other pieces of information I would get another piece of information and I would see that the tapping actually this type of tapping is basically not necessarily that it's taken from the Chinese medicine, but it, it has existed in different cultures, not just in the Chinese medicine. Anyway, um, so these points that we're tapping are basically energetic channels, meridians, and all sorts of things, which now actually have a name in our uh, standard science is Bongan channels, I think. Anyway, if I'm wrong, you'll find it in the book. Uh, however, um, this is, as I said, this is not enough anymore. So you really have to go deeper. And then as I was progressing with other things and more into the abstract stuff, um, I, Source would guide me like, go to the element side. And I was like, why? And then, then it says like, and I was discovering this um, tapping with this Chinese uh, teacher, doctor, um, and he was actually giving the sequence in the order of the element. And I, I did this a few times and I was like, mm, this is nice, but because my first language is not Chinese, so um, I am not active as in like, my command line is not active on Chinese. So that, that's why there's not a lot, uh, a lot of things that if I don't really necessarily take any more, how should I say, the names for certain things things from older teachings in those languages because if they do not resonate with you, you those are those things are not activated they will not mean anything to you of course with intention you can use those things and say okay this works this and whatever but the idea is that you have to activate certain knowledge to actually work for you and what i saw is, is that this was too generic as well and does not help really anybody with anything, at, at least at the phase where I was. And then I understood uh, why why the elements, because this, this body or whatever this image is created with this element, which they themselves are concepts. They're like 
what they also um, contain certain potential that do certain things. Uh, and one that I, I was pointed to was the element of metal. And I didn't understand I mean, why metal. And by the way, the metal element when you tap is here. It is this crevice between like arm and the shoulder. It's, it's right here. And it's good if you, when you do it like this, you can see this, it's in between or both like this. Uh, and when you tap here, um, the metal element, which is associated with autumn and most importantly, with letting go. The biggest problem of people, humanity, is to let go of the old stories, of the drama, trauma, everything stays there with you and all this toxicity builds up and creates all this problem and uh, ultimately blocks your light and um, your awareness and your power basically. And what I discovered by actually doing this a lot and actually probing into my own self and doing deeper investigations and um, like at some point gets, it gets really painful and you might cry <laughs> uh, as you release certain things. Uh, yes, uh, but it's very efficient, it's very powerful and very fast, you will see. But regardless, even if like you just start, well first, it would be nice to actually get a better idea of what this is. I do not want to talk about, there's a lot of information out there, I'll put some links. But this will give you a good idea uh, how to actually ask questions to learn to do that. And for that, I would recommend have a have a notebook with you to like measure your your progress. I have a million notebooks and where I write about a lot of stuff, of course, not just for this, but for the book, but for I me, mean, a lot of things. But this will actually help you. Um, measure and see what you have clear, how much you have clear, what arises, what's whatever, and then other things that my you will start to see. And it, it was it's very helpful to to do that. Um, so yeah, and um, you could start right there. You could start or start with what I'm going to link down with like um, uh, Brad's uh, Brad Eight's videos. Um, you could start there because probably in the beginning it's harder to actually ask questions and you don't know how to ask questions. Um, so you could start doing those things and you will see immediate progress. Um, the, the level of cleanliness that, uh, I mean, to free yourself won't happen in a, in a week, in a month, in a year. However, each time when you do these exercises, um, and you should do this constantly really, daily um, or whatever you you start to see something that arises in you and then it's like look at the triggers what triggers you that's what I do or that's what I do a lot now things have changed a lot uh, as I said we're in different levels of energy coding understanding or whatever however we, we all um, have the right to be free so this is a great uh, tool, very efficient, and you will make progress very fast, especially in this time where, as I was saying, the 12 hour was a while ago, the trains have left the station, each um, heading in different direction. And if you're on the happy train, good for you, keep going, uh, and yes, keep cleaning yourself and always expect the, the best things. But if you are already on the, like a, a train that leads to a direction that you don't want to, um, you have only a little bit more time to actually jump from one train to another, so to speak. And this is done by actually shifting oneself. And how you do that? By cleaning yourself. So if you haven't started the work yet, uh, I don't know what you're waiting for, honestly. <laughs> you should have started this yesterday or a few years ago, but it's not about uh, saving anyone anymore. Um, also, it's not about despairing. However, it's about like, okay, you're aware now, you have to do the work and get to it. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Um, see you next time. Ciao.
speak to <laughs> to bring uh, energy and awareness in here.